Last July, I was lucky enough to purchase my very first home, and it was a Spanish Revival duplex, believe it or not, that I'm converting into a single-family home. This was the living room of the upper unit, but it is what sold me on the house, and I knew we needed to have the floors match, so we sanded those down to start and finished them in a nice dark walnut stain. I love the way that these floors ended up looking. Then I went to the windows. I wanted to kind of bring back some of the original character and charm of these 100-year-old windows, so I stripped all of the paint and refinished the wood to match the floors. Painted the insides and added these inserts for some more character. I removed the mantle from the fireplace because I actually found out that this was not original and it was added after the fact and the original quality of this fireplace actually had zero mantle. I ended up testing multiple paint colors, around four different paint colors until I settled on Pharaoh and Ball's Old White, which paired perfectly with the antique stained glass doors that I found and then accidentally dropped same day that I found them. But do not worry, they were not damaged, so I ended up installing these into the space because they were the exact same size as the previous door jam so I just felt like it was meant to be and the process was extremely simple and seamless my first time ever installing doors they looked absolutely incredible and then we worked on the built-in bookcases which were actually Ikea Billy bookcases that I retrimmed filled all of the holes painted and made sure that they did not look anything like Ikea and they look fully custom and that pretty much sums up everything that I've done so far We're gonna try the coffee table that I got for this space. So this light, I don't know if it's staying at the moment, but this coffee table, as you can see, is way too small. Had this one for years and I loved it. It's from Zara Home, but I got a new coffee table from Olive Atelier. It's actually a kitchen island, a antique kitchen island. I'm gonna cut it down to coffee table height because it's perfect size for this space. I actually like this height. You can like have dinner at it. <laughs> That's kind of iconic. Dinner That's table nice. height. It's a perfect size. Uh, I just love a huge color table. I love the wood color. It's so pretty. This is what the kitchen island looks like. So it's actually very small. Like I don't think you can ever get away with this as an actual kitchen island because on me, it comes up to like my knee. As you could see, like I'd have to really bend over there. Oh. That was inappropriate. But I love the wood on top. It is so beautiful and worn. And I like that it's different from all the rest of the wood in here because everything else is pretty dark. You can see that the wood tones here really match nicely. But this is just kind of a little bit of a different tone, but I love it. It is such a beautiful, warm color. Doing a stop by the Mark Collective in Venice just to see if we could find any artwork or some accessories for the living room. This lamp is so beautiful. This little oil painting is so pretty. This booth at the Mark Collective is the best. It is so stunning. Like, look at this tramp art box. Oh, they lowered the price. It was 900, 600. Now it's a medicine cabinet. Like how stunning would that be in a bathroom? Like that is so cool. It's so cool. I love it. What is this? Like a metal person. There has been this mirror. I kind of forgot about it, but I came back. Look how cool this mirror is. So it is like a floor mirror that's on a base and it swivels down into a tripod. And I have just been obsessed with it. It kind of has this postmodern vibe, but I feel like the copper and the aged look of it brings it a little antique -y in a sense. It definitely is on the pricier side, but it's like a one of a kind mirror. I've never seen a like a mirror that is only like elevated on a stand like this, you know? So interesting. I ended up getting it. <laughs> We're going to lay down. Oh. Look at how cool it is. I know, it's so, it's so different. wanted that high-end triple pleat luxury linen drapery look in my living room but you guys linen drapery with triple pleats in them are like five six hundred dollars a panel and I will never spend that on a curtain panel I'm sorry so I ended up just getting some Amazon panels and actually buying this pleat tape that I also got on Amazon it comes with the hooks which look like this and they have four prongs on them so you're gonna put the first prong into the first opening on your pleat tape and there's basically like a little opening for the prongs to go into every inch so you 
you're just gonna fold the fabric under and then put each prong in and then when you flip this over it gives you this triple pleat which just looks extremely tailored and when you have this hanging it really makes your curtains look that much more expensive it makes it look like there's a lot more fabric than there actually is and honestly I just love the look I feel like it gives you that very designer drapery custom made drapery look uh, for less because I think I ended up making all of these curtain panels for under $300 for all the materials and I love the way they look also the curtains themselves were blackout so I ended up pulling out the blackout liner it was super simple I just cut it out from the inside of the curtain panel which I didn't end up showing but it was extremely simple Welcome to Sisterhood of the Traveling Hem. Um, so what we're going to do, I thought it would be easier to go through and hem the curtains after. So as you can see, they are just a little too long. So what we're gonna do is just kind of find the length of each of them. And then I'm just gonna quickly hem them on the sewing machine in front because they're already hanging. They look so pretty. We're just gonna hem the bottoms quickly of all the curtain panels. Today's the day that we are finishing the living room, you guys. We are about to style this space, and this, I've been waiting for this day. I woke up so freaking excited. We are going to style the bookcases. We have the Monterey chairs that were reupholstered, and we have the coffee table, which I'm going to put a clip up on the screen for you guys, because Justin and I actually cut the legs down the other day, and it is just perfect perfect in here. Honestly, the height of it before was so awkward. It was like in between coffee table and table height. It was a very odd height. Definitely like a custom kitchen island for a shorter person, I would think. Um, so I ended up cutting it down to a coffee table. Looks lovely. And I also want to say the summer collection launched today on Lone Fox and I love this collection you guys i have been spending so much time shooting curating getting all of this stuff in our warehouse in arizona for you this collection is like one of the largest ones that i've actually done um on the lone fox site and there's so many cute items tons and tons of like kitchen and serveware so if that's your vibe and we also have a ton of new decor and just really really cute pieces so i'm going to be using some of that throughout the living room because i just actually shot all of it for the site so i have a bunch of it here and i want to incorporate it so if you see anything it is live the summer 23 collection i'm so excited for you guys to take a look and yeah so let's get to styling these bookshelves so we can see what this living room is going to look like I also forgot to share with you what the rails look like in the front of the bookshelf. So this is like the actual shelf that I want to put book fronts on. And I added these little rails. These are like bistro shelf railings. And I found these on some really honestly kind of sketchy looking website. I thought they weren't even going to get here in time, but it was the only site I could find them on. And they got here. Uh, they look like little chess pieces. And then you just have this little bar that connects them up. And it's so cute. So that's going to be our little detail on the edge of the shelf to keep the books inside. So let's get to style. I have so much stuff in front of these shelves. These are all of the pieces that I've been collecting over the past year almost for this living room. So just when I've been going to flea markets, so many random finds, like if you guys remember these little mums that I got, these like Burlwood bookends, all of my books, I brought absolutely every book that I have up from downstairs. So everything from coffee table books to my design books to Spanish architecture books that I have, I have a ton of different books. So I knew I wanted library shelves somewhere in the house so that I was able to store them all. One of my most asked questions is on shelf styling, and I will tell you guys right now, shelf styling is not easy. It is such a trial and error process. I have kind of an idea of what I want to do with these shelves because I already know that this wall is super focal that we're working with. We have the stained glass, we have the rosettes, mixed feelings about the rosettes, but I love them, so they are here to stay. So I do want to style these shelves actually on the more minimal side. I really want there to be a lot of breathing room. I want the decor pieces actually to be a lot smaller. So traditionally, I feel like with shelves, I love to fill up. I'm such a maximalist when it comes to design. I love filling in all the spots, but in these shelves, I think I need to go a little more minimal, kind of let the smaller decor pieces almost be highlighted throughout the shelves and just let your eye kind of bounce around as you go. Okay, so I don't know where to start. 
I like this candle holder, kind of simple. This half round stool is great. I think I might add that. I'm gonna start with some of my larger pieces. Just look at these books, you guys. They're so pretty. I love them. Sculptural on their own as like a little element, like that. This little bowl from the summer collection is so cute. It has these like little rounded wavy edges. It's also really nice with books to do them in different orientations so you can stack them on top of each other. You can do them upright. You can kind of do them slanted or leaning on the bookshelf so they kind of have a more effortless feel. So you can really play around with the look of like how bookcases look as well. You can make them more relaxed or more like structured. I love using a taper candle holder kind of as like a statue or just like a figurative form. It just adds something. You don't have to put tapers in them if you don't want to. This one's from the summer collection. So good. There's a tall one that goes with it. I think I'm gonna use it um, somewhere. This is our remote adapter for the lights in the bookcases. So I'm just gonna cover that with this beautiful copper pot. I love, this one of my favorite copper finds I've ever found. It's so pretty there. And then just some more books on the other side. I also thought, cause we have some other yellow tones like the brass from the lights that this Soho Home book would be really pretty. It's kind of like right there, you know, adding a bit of yellow. Some of you plant lovers might be like, Drew, what are you doing with the Japanese maple indoors? And don't worry, it's only in here for the like final clips of this room and styling. I haven't found a tree that I love for this corner yet. And I actually bought this the other day for outside. So I brought it up here because I thought it would be pretty in here. I found this at a nursery when I was looking for a tree um, and I could not pass this up because it was actually really affordable and I couldn't believe it and I love it. So I want to put it somewhere down in the courtyard or in the front of my home. So that's the plan for that. But I just brought it up and put it in the pot because I don't have a tree for this corner yet. So if any of you guys have any ideas um, on a tree, I do love the red leaf so I think they're so beautiful. I mean are you kidding me? Look at the view from over here. Maybe I can get a faux one of these? Hmm. Any ideas? On the right side of the couch here I want to do some side tables and I have these. I've actually had these for a few months. Um, I got them for the downstairs guest room but I'm getting new nightstands for that room so I brought them up here. It was just a temporary like set of two that my parents could just use as nightstands but I love them as the side tables here. It's like a nesting table set and they have these great iron legs with like these little ball feet. These are from Pottery Barn. I think they come in a couple finishes, but I thought the nesting kind of nature would just fill this section. For the lamp, you guys know this one. I made this lamp a while back, um, quick and easy DIY project. I'll link it for you, it was on Instagram. I don't think I've shared the tutorial on YouTube, but if you wanna create this, I will link it. And if you guys recall, there are outlets under the rug in a couple different spots, so I can actually run the lamps under the rug and plug it in, which is so cool. I love that the previous owners installed those in the floor. And one of our last little touches are these new trays on Lone Fox. These are from Anastasio Home, and I think their marble and stone trays are stunning. I ended up getting like 10 different styles for the site, um, and they are on the pricier side. I'm not going to lie, you guys, but they're such like a memorable piece. I feel like this is such an incredible gift to give someone because this is my favorite one. I love the crest. I love this bust. This has been a favorite in the shop for so long. 
Uh, but it's perfect just to go on this little pedestal. So over here, I did the two Monterey chairs and then this little stool, just kind of like a little side table with a bowl on top. But look at these. So these are some new fireplace tools that I got and I've been looking for the perfect set in here, but vintage fireplace tools are so expensive. This is from the new summer collection. I know it's not summer at all, but when I saw this, I had to like put it on the site. It just happened to come out in summer. Fireplace tool set. I love the like molten ball on top. And then the pieces like are all forged. I just freaking love this the tripod base like this is the coolest fireplace that has a twisted metal as well oh my gosh i'm sweating in here it is hot out today uh but everything's looking so pretty look i love it uh and i have to do the coffee table and this whole side still it's blank I don't know if any of you remember this fabric, but I actually had it hanging in a frame in my previous uh, little office in the apartment. And it's so beautiful. I thought maybe I could turn it into a pillow. Kind of add like a fun pattern. Potentially an option. You don't know how excited I am to have a large coffee table. This is the size of a small or like honestly like medium sized dining table. And I am so freaking excited to style this. I've always wanted a large coffee table and it really does fill the space so nicely. So I have some accessories that I didn't use on the bookcase and I'm gonna bring a couple more items in that I'm gonna gather from downstairs. So let's go grab a few things and style the coffee table. Modeling down here. And if I show up, will you show me around town? If I make you laugh, will you give me some time? Cause I know. So good the light that's coming in right now for like the next three hours is the most beautiful light ever this light is like a warm filter on the entire room but i want to add some pillows to the couch because i actually just got some new ones from laloy and jean stouffer they just did a collab and i love jean stouffer so much and these laloy pillows laloy has the best freaking quality pillows like the inserts and just the pillow themselves i love the texture of this pillow it is so great so i got two of them i thought those would be good starting points and i'm gonna orient the stripes differently like do one horizontal and then do one vertical and then i also have a couple of pillows from pottery barn that i want to add in just like some nice brown tones if you guys remember this one from my apartment, got this at the flea market. And then I did do a little splurge for an accent pillow. I went to a store in Los Angeles called Pearson Ward the other day. And it's such a great store. It's so beautiful. And I found this pillow there. I loved it. And I like the way that it kind of ties back to the tree. So I thought that would be a nice little touch here. So I really want to try to find a tree similar to this. Not a good way to soften kind of the edge of the couch and just all these boxy silhouettes in here i'm gonna add a throw blanket and i'm just gonna drape it kind of over let's move these the sides it adds like a nice softness to the edge maybe a little thick right here just kind of like like that and then as a little accent table i have a stool here this is from olive atelier and I'm just gonna leave that empty, just so it can serve a purpose. Okay. 
So this is what I'm calling the curvy lady chair. I feel like it looks like a nice curvy lady. Does it not? It's like so cool. This is a vintage Ikea lounge chair. I got this at Olive Atelier as well. If you guys saw my drop that I did with them, this was part of it. We actually had like 10 of them that Kendall had sourced. I think there was like one left at the end as well. I might need to go back and get that one. Like I would, these are cool. These are such cool chairs. And I also feel like they're not super expensive as a vintage investment. If you kind of like wicker, it's not bad. Uh, they're really freaking cool as well. I love the way that they look. So I'm gonna add this over to this corner. I already ended up kind of styling this the other day and I really like the way it looks. I'll share with you guys like a look at what it looks like. I thought I could use a stool next to this lounger. So this little heart was cute. If you've been following my home renovation since I started, you'd have seen these candlesticks. They are wavy. I love them so, so, so much. I got them like seven months ago, right when I bought the house. It was like one of the first things I actually bought for the space. Uh, I just thought I could use them somewhere in here and I think they would go perfect at the fireplace. I love the little touches of like whimsy elements throughout because I feel like the room does lean a little gothic-y, a little Spanish. Um, so I do want to add touches of like cuteness that aren't too over the top if that makes sense. And I feel like elements like this just really add that. I found them again another Facebook marketplace find the bottom of them has this little sticker that says made by dad 1932 And the little fireplace opening up here, I had no idea what I wanted to put in there. And I decided to just put this vase. It fits perfectly. It's also a studio pottery. So it's one of a kind, randomly made. Um, and I think it's actually signed on the bottom too. It was one of my first ever studio pottery finds I ever found. And I love it. I think the shape of it's so fun. And I love the color. The room is done. It is complete. Everything is styled. All the furniture is in place. Every single little detail that I wanted to add is here. And I just love it so, so much, you guys. I am so happy with the outcome of this room. I cannot wait to share it with you. I'm just gonna let you guys watch and I'm gonna let these outro clips maybe go a little longer than normal because I love the way that this living room turned out and I hope that you guys did as well. So let me reveal it to you in three, two, one. Thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. I hope that you loved this makeover and the way that the living room turned out. I love it. I love it so much. Marie, what are your thoughts? Obsessed! <laughs> 
I would love to know, is there a space that you're wanting to see next on the channel? I don't have an exact direction. However, I kind of am wanting to go work downstairs because of that castlery sofa. It's like the only thing inspiring me at the moment. So if you want to see that space next, let me know, but yeah. And also make sure to check out the summer collection over on Lone Fox if you are interested. I used a bunch of it in styling the living room. Oh, I just, it looks so good, you guys. I love it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one.